Hey guys, so this new game, Dragon Ball Super Divers, is coming out in under a month now. I think this game, I think it's the 7th of November, we'll talk about it in this video, um, is going to come out. It is going to essentially be replacing Dragon Ball Heroes, but uh, it is essentially, I mean, I, I watched this video through, it was, it was actually a live stream, um, and I've been keeping up with a lot of the news that they've put out for this game. And to me, what this seems like is literally just an improvement or like an upgraded version of Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, and I guess instead of just like going through a different, you know, arcade game machine upgrade and replacing all the machines and just keeping it the same name, they felt it was better at this point just to start over fresh with a brand new type of game. But I mean, a brand new, I guess, name, right? A new, a new brand of the game instead of continuing with the hero's name. So uh, we'll go through this entire live stream. And we also have the card list for the first set, which again is releasing, I believe it's November 7th here. So uh, I'll talk a little bit about the game, how you play the game. If you guys are familiar with uh, heroes, I mean, they have world mission out, but uh, most of you guys probably are not super familiar with heroes and how the game is played, but uh, there are definitely a lot, a lot of similarities between this and heroes, which is why to me it more so just seems more like an upgraded version of heroes as opposed to like a new game entirely. But uh, there certainly are some differences as well. So uh, we'll get into this and I'll sort of sift through the uh, video here, the live stream that they did, and we can discuss uh, what's what's going on here. So the first thing is just sort of like an overview of the game saying like, what is Dragon Ball Super Divers? So this is actually going to be an eight versus eight game as opposed to Heroes, which started out as 5v5. Uh, so the game started out as just Dragon Ball Heroes, and then they upgraded the game to Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which is what people thought was going to happen with this instead of it being a whole new thing. When, they, when the game went from just normal Dragon Ball Heroes to Super Dragon Ball Heroes, it went from 5v5 to 7v7. Uh, so you actually had a complete shift in the way the game was played because you had two full new, you know, different cards on your team now as opposed to 5v5 with 7v7. Now it's jumping up to 8v8. And uh, they make this clear later on, but it does sound like it's 7v7 plus your avatar because there is there is also going to be an avatar in this game. So again, something that they've taken from Heroes. Uh, it just sounds like it's going to be 7v7 using uh, cards that you've collected and then the eighth slot is reserved for like a digital card which is your your avatar card um and of course there's going to be three screens here as opposed to the one screen that heroes had this machine definitely does look a lot bigger than the heroes machines uh, used to look um and then of course you use the touch panel on the uh, bottom there to uh, sort of control the the cards and that's how you essentially play the game okay so let's keep going through here um Oops, that's the wrong control. Let's keep going. So there's like a little bit of like a like an in. I don't even know if I want what is this an, an infomercial about how to play this game. So we can take a quick look through this. So yeah, like I said, eight v eight. This is your avatar. I guess there is a card that you can get for the avatar, but they also said later on they 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 do like a mock playthrough of a of an event it's the saiyan saga is like the first like big saga they're they're i mean makes sense first big saga they're representing in this game um and they make it sound like you don't even really need to have an avatar card because you can just use your avatar digitally through the game when you log into your account yeah so like they're saying avatar card plus seven other cards you can tell it kind of yeah it kind of resembles heroes like the, the the danger thing the text is literally the same font as the heroes text and font where it were so also the announcer is the same person okay so this is a, definitely a massive difference between uh, divers and heroes there's going to be three separate attack areas for this game as opposed to heroes which just had one attack area that you put all seven of your cards in if you wanted to this is broken up into three areas and it looks like each area and this will be you know sort of more clear as we get into the, the mock fight later each area has their hero energy associated with the area as opposed to every single like basically you in heroes you would just have one and hero energy meter that kept track of how much hero energy your team had in this game it looks like you have separate energy gauges per area 
So it's going to be a bit more intricate in that regard, I guess, to, because you're going to have to be managing and keeping track of the status of each area as opposed to you just having like one status across your entire team. There's also the support area down below, which is the same thing as we had in Heroes. Yeah, and you can see on the screen here, there's different gauges for each area, right? This gauge is three, this one is five, this one is three. So, and then here's your HP. And then this is your power level, which is also a way that you determine who goes first, which is literally the same thing as heroes. Yeah, so this is the power level battle. Let me just rewind a sec here. So this team has the higher power level, 39,000 versus 27,000. So this team's going to attack first. Literally, this is identical to heroes. This is the exact same thing, the same way heroes worked. I mean, you could definitely tell the animations look, the animations and models just look way better in this game than they did with Heroes, which is obviously that's going to make sense, right? All right, and then this is what Heroes would call the charge impact battle. In this game, they're calling it the strike battle, which is, it's again, it's literally the same exact thing as Heroes. You're supposed to just time when the uh, bar fills up and then press the button to, you know, see who gets that. It's literally just... If you guys haven't played Heroes before, it's it's Legends clashes. It's it's what is what this is basically the the way who decides who wins and who loses. Yes, yeah, so you, you guys saw that work. And then of course per card, they're gonna tell you how much energy you need to be able to launch your super attack. So over here, you're gonna see that this guy has nine hero energy in this area. So this this Goku who requires nine hero energy, if you win the strike battle in this area with this Goku, he's gonna be able to launch a super attack because you have the required energy that you need. Yeah. I mean, look, that just looks so much better than the hero's animations. Okay, so there's obviously going to be different rarities in this game as well. Um, so let's just quickly go through this. These are normal cards. You can see the rarities up there. These are rares. These are super rares. And then the highest rarity uh, so far are called god rares, which they're going to show off here. These are the god rares. So the first one is blue Goku. Next, we got blue Vegeta. We got of course, we got to get Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I promise you, every single Heroes set had at least one Cell Saga Gohan. <laughs> They're obsessed with Cell Saga Gohan, but yeah, they, you, you got to get a God Rare of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Cell Saga. The Super Saiyan Trunks. Broly. Yeah, Broly was another character they loved. I mean, just legendary Super Saiyan Z Broly is a God Rare. Bardock is a, is a God Rare. Uh, interesting that they chose Fat Boo. I'm not really too sure why, but Fat Boo is a god rare as well. And then uh, Daima Goku. Goku Mini is also going to be a god rare as well. So we also got a uh, card of Vegeta Mini, and then this is Glorio. Uh, I don't think they really even explored this character in the anime yet. They showed him for a second in the first episode, but... Yeah. So, oh... Oh, I guess Glorio is a god rare. Okay, so is Vegeta. So, yeah, there's 10 god rares in total here. So we got three from Daima already. Yeah, set one. We got three Daima god rares. Okay. Uh, they also used to do this in Heroes as well, is certain cards would have parallel versions of them, which is basically just like alternate art versions of the cards that are just rarer. So apparently there's going to be in this first set, there's going to be five god rares that have parallel versions aka alternate art versions that are just going to be rare so that'll be cool to see uh so these skills are essentially if you're familiar with heroes these are like the card action slash touch touch action abilities that when you perform certain actions on the screen with the cards they'll be able to perform additional t uh, abilities this is awakening so I, this is like transformation i guess like this used to be change in heroes like you transform from base to super saiyan uh, this is called Rampage Attack. I don't I don't know what the details of this is. This is Tri Burst. Sounds like a triple attack. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then this is Cyberman, which makes sense because the first like sort of story thing that they're going to go through in this first set is going to be from the Saiyan Saga. Yeah, they're, they're showing how this works. So this is the, the oh, Kakusei Awakening one. 
Oh, this is the rampage attack. Okay, so it looks like you can attack multiple enemies at the same time. Here's the Cyberman one. This is interesting. You literally are planting the Cyberman. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that earlier. And then the try attack is, yeah, obviously it's going to be three characters attacking at the same time. That's cool. All right, yeah, there we go. And then, um, again, like I said, November 7th is the start of the first set. That's uh, when the game officially launches. That's cool. All right, and then this is essentially like the story mode, I guess, of this game. It's sort of going to go through a lot of the history of Dragon Ball. The first one they're going to do is clearly Saiyan Saga. Uh, again, I think this makes sense as like the first thing that they they should cover in this game for story. Um, sort of where Z started, and uh, I guess they could have done stuff from Dragon Ball, but typically Z is where these games start. <laughs> We got Raditz. We got Gohan powering up here. This looks pretty good. And then we got Great Ape. People are traumatized by him from Working Zero. Yeah, so this is basically like the splash image for set one. The, the history dive, I guess is what they're calling the story mode here. It's the arrival of the Saiyans, basically is what this is. I think they also start talking about like ra like ranked stuff. Yeah, this is, I don't exactly know exact. I don't know for sure what this is, but it's some kind of uh, PvP mode. Uh, it's going to be ranked stuff here. I think they mentioned that this is where you're going to be able to get Dragon Balls. I think uh, there's tournament battles. You can get titles th uh, by doing this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's online rank matches, too. So there's a bunch of different. Here's the different rankings. There's God rank, gold rank, silver rank, bronze rank. And uh, I don't know. L l l I don't know what this means. Oh, rookie. Rookie rank is what this bottom one is. These are these are all the rankings. Uh, God rank is what they're calling the highest rank. huh? I wonder where they got that from. All right, um, so yeah, there's different types of um, PvP modes, I guess. There's different rules for those. And then you can collect Shenron uh, Dragon Balls from doing these, and you can use the Dragon Balls to have a chance to get, like, s apparently super secret, like, rare cards, apparently. There's a you know, going to be a, a, an experience bonus from the 8th to the 24th. Um, and there's also going to be, of course, a super Dragon Ball Heroes mode. So you can actually play, continue, you can continue to play Dragon Ball Heroes through the system, the arcade machine. That's going to go live on the 11th. There's been a lot. When they, when they first announced Super Divers, there was a lot of backlash about Heroes, like, sort of being taken offline. I don't think I've ever seen, I've been playing Dokkan and Legends since they, the games, basically since the games first came out. I have never seen anywhere close to the amount of outrage and backlash that I saw when they announced that the Heroes is closing. They did. They announced this on Saiyan Day. They said, "Oh, we have a you know a giant announcement coming for Saiyan Day." And people were like, "Oh, it's going to be like a ne the next arcade machine, but it's going to still be Heroes." People thought it was going to be like the change from regular Heroes to Super Dragon Ball Heroes. And then they, the the big announcement for Saiyan Day was that the game was shutting down. <laughs> And being replaced by uh, divers. Now we know at this point that divers is essentially just an upgraded version, um, just just the predecessor or not the predecessor, the uh, like like the upgraded version of heroes, right? Um, heroes is heroes is the predecessor for 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 super divers, even though the name is different. It's a different brand, um, but there was unbelievable backlash. I've never seen backlash like this for any Dragon Ball game ever. It, it was insanity. So I, I assume what happened is they probably weren't initially planning on doing this, and they saw just the floodgates open like crazy when they when they announced the game was shutting down, and they're like, okay, we got we got we got to make a Dragon Ball Heroes mode in this game, so you actually can play Dragon Ball Heroes in like Super Divers. There's a mode for this. They show a graphic for it. Oh, they don't even show a graphic for it. I think they show it later. 
All right, so we can go through some of the other information. So this is the uh, like license you're going to need to play the game. It's called the Diver Passport. Uh, this is what you're going to need to sort of level up your avatar. And this is basically what represents your account. So it's going to be the same thing as the hero license for Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, now, they have much more customization. I actually do like this a lot. This, I think, is a massive upgrade over what we had for the hero system. There is a skill tree that you can customize uh, with your avatar. And you can sort of build them in different ways. You want them to maybe be very defensive. You want them to maybe be very like like built around being a support character. Maybe you want them to be very offensive. Uh, they said, I, again, I watched this video earlier. They basically are talking about the fact that you can build the your avatar to fit the, the team that you're running, the deck that you're using, or just the, the way that you play the game, your play style. Um, if you guys are familiar with the way it worked in Heroes, uh, there were these uh, sort of like items called battle applications. Um, and that it looks like it's sort of making a return here in the form of what they're calling memories. Um, that's what this like watch is for. The, the diver's watch. And you could set different, like, I don't know, accessories via the watch, um, which I think are just going to be the equivalent of this game's version of Heroes Battle applications. Um, there also is a lot of customization in the form of aesthetics for your avatar. You can change the you, your avatar skin. I think that's just like the outfits. You can change the voice of your avatar as well. Uh, you have different titles you can get via, you know, doing certain things and achieving different things in the game. Um, there's different accessories you can put on your avatar as well. It looks like we have a Saiyan pod thing. I don't know. There's a scouter. There's a power pulse. There's a lot of different things and ways that you can do to customize your avatar here, it looks like. Uh, all right. And then they're talking about the divers watch here. This is These are the applications that I was talking about. Um, and then this over here, it says you can use power crystals. Um, and then like give them to Bulma to upgrade your divers watch. I don't, they, they literally didn't even talk about this. This is just here. I, I was like waiting for them to talk about this, this part, but they don't actually mention this at all. But I assume there's going to be some rare chance to maybe get these power crystals through doing certain things in the game. And then you could use those to upgrade your watch. I, what it sounds like to me, but they didn't really talk about this at all. Uh, but these are, you know, different things that have effects that help you in battle. Maybe it's like turn two, you get like extra attack or something like that. It's, it's kind of like support memories in Dokkan, if you know how those work. All right. Um, and then they also were adding a way for you to be able to check what your like sort of account and avatar status is. And they're also making this available on the uh, website as well. Sounds like you're going to be able to use your diver's passport to log into your page um, and you could check online sort of how you're able to, uh, um, you know, move forward with your avatar. You could check your avatar's level. You could check what kind of moves you have on them or whatever the accessories you have on them are, it looks like. So uh, that's pretty cool. You could never do this in Heroes. So this is definitely something that they've probably spent quite a bit of time developing because uh, this is certainly much more modern than what we had in Heroes where you had to, you had to like, you know, log in by, by putting money into the machine and you had to like navigate through the menus. This is way easier to do. So this is cool. Uh, this is talking about now online rankings. I didn't really pay too much attention to this. I mean, there's just, we, we talked about this a little bit earlier. There's, there's different ranking. God ranks the highest rank. Um, and obviously, I think everybody's probably just going to start at rookie rank and then they're going to be able to make their way up here. Um, I don't think they really talk about rewards from this. Okay, this is, so I mentioned the Dragon Balls earlier. You're able to get Dragon Balls by playing the uh, Dokabaki, type, the Dokabaki, Dokabaki Dive event battle which is like the event battle that i mentioned earlier that's pvp based and then also with online rankings um yeah you have a chance to obtain the dragon balls by doing that and of course when you get seven dragon balls you uh can, can sh summon shenron and you get a chance to get like a super rare card by doing this so uh we'll we'll try and do this i don't know how, how rare it's going to be to do it but we'll see there's also a separate chance as well um, every time you play, this is without needing to summon Shenron. Is every time you play the game, apparently there's a chance that you can just get um, a chance to get a rare card as well. They used to have this in Heroes too. This is something that's directly just taken from Heroes. So uh, people are probably going to be familiar with that. Um, th this is Super Dragon Ball Heroes mode. So you can see uh, the screen is much smaller because the, the Super Divers machine is going to be much bigger. And the screens are there's three screens as opposed to one screen. So you, you can tell just like the scale of this game is going to be a lot bigger than Heroes was. But yeah, this is the Heroes mode. It looks like it's literally just going to be a screen in like the same machine. 
and uh, you can just pick this and yeah from the 11th it's going to go live so that's what this is going to look like here uh now this is where they do the mock battle i believe so i don't know if we're going to watch this whole thing because it's pretty long but here is the deck that they've built we have a god rare blue goku a god rare bardock we got a vegeta uh cell games gohan piccolo kid trunks and super saiyan goten um, so we can kind of scroll through this a little bit and you can get a good idea as to how this works. So here's the menu. Actually, I, I do, I, I do want to play this because this menu does look pretty cool. This is basically them choosing like the Saiyan saga. The, I guess they're, in, they're supposed to be in Trunks' time machine here, I, I guess, is what this is representing here. And there's like a little bit of like a slideshow-ish story mode here. We got Raditz showing up. We got the Raditz. Uh, Raditz is confronting the the farmer with the shotgun here. <laughs> got to get this guy in day one of the game, of course. And they're gonna jump into hard mode right away. So here's the opponent. We got Nappa, Vegeta, and a bunch of Cybermen. And then we got different. Pers yeah, this is something that you never saw with heroes. You got like different perspectives and stuff like that. Nappa's summoning the the Cybermen here. So here's the avatar, and she's going to put the cards in. They're going to be summoned. So it's going to be eight in total because you got seven cards plus the avatar. All right, let's go. All right, here's the opponent. We got, I guess, what, six, seven in the Nappa and Vegeta. All right, so it looks like she separated her uh, guys into three, three, and two. Those are her different areas here. Um, and you can see the different hero energies too. We got six over here. We got four over here. We got three over there. I'm not exactly sure how the calculation works. Like how, how much hero energy do you get per character? Is it based on key? I'm not too familiar with this. Uh, you definitely can see there are some gauges attached to each character. Like there's Piccolo has two of whatever this is. And then, uh, the avatar who's over here has one. That probably is key. That's how this worked in... In Hero, I think Hero is actually the English version. Probably, I think they called it stamina, but in Japanese, it's it's called key. Uh, looks like they did also take that from Heroes as well. Um, the way Hero Energy used to work is it was based on um, on power level and key that you consumed. So, uh, probably works the same way here. And you can see your power level down here is forty three thousand too. So that's going to show up during the power level battle in a second. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so here's the power level battle. Oh, I guess she... Wait. Why did it go down? Oh, yeah, you can see the number. Yeah, I guess she moved characters around or something like that because the number went down, 21,000. So, yeah, she actually loses the power level battle, which means that uh, the opponent is going to have the first attack, which could make a bit of a difference. We'll see. So obviously from this point forward, it's all just about timing the uh, Dokabaki, which is the cl essentially just the clash in this game. It's the charge impact. I think she loses this first one. I think I watched this. Yeah. All right. So then they're going to be able to super attack because they have enough hero energy. It's very, very similar to heroes. If you, if you guys are familiar with how heroes works, or you've played heroes, you've played world mission. It is very very similar it's very similar but you can tell that there's definitely going to be some differences definitely a lot of visual differences but you guys can kind of understand what i'm saying when this essentially is just an upgraded version of heroes like it's just a newer version of the game uh there's not really much else to show here that's kind of the flow of how the game works i mean there's a bunch of different like actions like remember this the cybermen what is it what is it called like the whatever this game calls card action abilities Nappa's planting Cybermen here. He's going to summon a bunch of Cybermen. Yeah. There they, there they pop out there. And they're going to attack. That's actually a lot of damage. 4,000 damage for free there? Okay. And then here's uh, the offensive portion of this. Sometimes there's also different um, actions that appear on the screen. Like there was one where you have to time different pushes in all the areas, I believe. I don't know if that's coming up here. Let's see, it might be here. 
<laughs> yeah, we got b blue Goku versus a Cyberman. <laughs> Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. So you can see it says uh, time the, the button presses. So we got one, two, and three. So I think what happens is the circle is going to like enclose around this. And you want to push the button when it gets like in the circle. So we got one, two, and three. Actually, no, I think what it is, it's when it gets into like this, this the ring around the circles when you want to push it. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's some differences. Um, this is certainly not something we saw in Heroes, so that's, that's different. And then you can do like a follow-up attack if you push the button. That's essentially everything here. I think she actually loses and at the end. Oh, there's here's a Gohan transformation. We should probably see this. Gotta fill this up to uh, 100%. This is literally just Heroes. Upgraded anime, like you can tell, it looks way better. And there's Super Saiyan Gohan. Anything else that we should look at? That's probably it. Yeah, and again, she loses. Um, they say anything else here? There is gonna be like a pop up, sh a pop up store. I don't know if this is like a permanent store, but a Super Divers Arena store uh, is going to be open. There's going to be three locations. One is in Tokyo, one is in Chiba, and then one is in Osaka. Maybe I'll head over to one of these and see how this is. Check it out. Uh, I don't know what they're going to Probably like clothing, maybe some like starter decks or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what else we got? Is that it? Uh, this is just like free cards you can get for certain campaigns. Nothing crazy. I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. Okay. So that's essentially the gist of the first set of uh, Dragon Ball Super Divers. Uh, on their website, they do have a listing of all the cards available in set one, which is what they used to do for heroes as well. So we'll just quickly go through some of these cards. Uh, we can we can sort up here also uh, battle type. This is just like the set that they're from. Obviously, we only have one set right now. Uh, this is the rarity and then this is the action skill. So like I said, we have uh, Kakse, which is like transform. Tri-Burst, Rampage Attack, and Cyberman are <laughs> the skills right now. Uh, we can take a look at the God Rares here. I mean, we can sort of read through their abilities. I, I'm not going to be able to really tell who's good and who's not good. Uh, you can tell the design of the cards are certainly a little bit different than they were in Heroes, but a lot of it is sort of similar as well. Uh, in Heroes, the way that rarities were defined were by stars, so like the highest rarity... Uh, you had ultra, uh, ultimate rares and secret rares that had four stars. Uh, super rares were three stars, rares were two stars, and, and commons were one star. In this one, I believe you got uh, normals, which are Ns, rares, which are R, super rares, SR, and then god rare. Uh, PR, I guess, is just promotion, is what that stands for. This is probably what they used to call campaign probably i don't i don't know but yeah we got four rarities in this game too but they're not designated by stars they're designated by like abbreviations so this one is a god rare it's abbreviated gdr this goku is a normal he's just n uh what is this gohan he's n this gohan is a super rare if he's sr so you guys get the gist of how that works uh here's the super or the uh, god rare super saiyan 2 gohan i don't even know like what any of this stuff is going to mean we'll have to just experiment with this um Oh, this is the rampage mode down here. And then here's the, the skill, his passive, I guess, is what, what this says here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, here's Blue Vegeta as a god rare. He's Super Saiyan Trunks as a god rare. Here's Boo as a god rare. Let's keep going through some of these. Oh, we got Frieza in here. What is this? Frieza Cyberman? <laughs> he has the Cyberman ability. Okay. Uh, this is a super rare Frieza. It's actually a transforming third form Frieza into final form Frieza. Super rare. Okay. One of the characters I'm using in uh, Sparking Zero right now is third form freeze. <laughs> oh, we got Ginyu. We got a, a rare Ginyu. Okay. And then there's a, like a unit skill down here as well. I guess he's going to get an additional ability if you use him next to a Frieza. That's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of like the ultimate unit effects that we had in Heroes. But with those in Heroes, you um, you had to have a, like, like three characters all together. This one, it looks like as long as you're using them next to one other character, you can get a, a special ability. And it even has it on the front of the card right here, the Frieza art. That's cool. We got a perfect cell, a super rare perfect cell. 
We got a super rare uh, evil boo or uh, super boo. A normal Beerus. We got a super rare Beerus. We got a hit. Okay. Uh, we got a super rare hit. We got a normal Jiren, a super rare. It looks like they have like normal and super rare versions of a lot of these characters. We got a god rare Bardock. What is this? A super rare Broly and then a god rare Broly. That I like this art for Kaioken Goku. Super rare Kaioken Goku here. Looks pretty good. Yeah, we got a lot of Saiyan Saga stuff, obviously, because it sort of fits the theme of the first set here. Normal Raditz, rare Raditz. Uh, we got a normal Nappa, a super rare Nappa, rare Vegeta. This is, yeah, this is Daima Goku. They actually, oh, this is interesting. They're abbreviating Daima Goku as Goku DA. Super rare. You guys remember how they did this in um, Heroes? So for the Broly movie characters, they would abbreviate them as BR. So it'd be like Gogeta BR, Goku BR. So it looks like they are continuing that with Divers as well, where they're going to be like sort of designating characters that are parts of other series or movies as like different abbreviations. So Goku DA is what this is going to be, huh? Here's the God Rare Goku Mini. We also have the God Rare Vegeta Mini. And then we have the God Rare <laughs> Glorio, who nobody knows who this character is yet. I, I, he hasn't done anything in the show, so interesting. We got a Supreme Kai as well. So there we go. Um, I think when the set actually releases, they will post the alternate art versions here as well. That's what Heroes used to do. They used to wait for the set to actually release before they did that, so they didn't spoil anything. But there we go. That is the first set of Dragon Ball Super Divers. Bit of a longer video, but I wanted to make sure I got all the information in here. Uh, I think I will try and do some videos on this. Uh, probably need to bring like a tripod or something to the arcade um, and, you know, sort of figure out how I want to edit this and cut it up and what, what sections I want to post. But I'm essentially just going to be exploring the game for the first time when this game comes out in the arcade and, you know, figuring out the systems and how the battle system works and all that stuff. And of course, uh, trying to get all of the rare cards. So, uh, the game releases with its first set on November 7th, sometime around there, maybe the 8th or 9th or whatever. I'll probably head over and just check it out. But let me know what you guys think of Super Divers. And let me know what kind of content you would want to see me cover with this game. Do you want to see me cover each set? Uh, do you want to see me do, you know, videos where I take a look at the cards and stuff like that? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what uh, you guys would be interested in. So let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.